everybody, what is up? This is the Ethan Maverick here. And today, we're going to be starting a new series that will be called Storytime. Basically, what Storytime will be, will be when I tell some very epic and intense stories of things that, that have happened in life and in video games. So you might be wondering why this, why this picture is up and why the Diamond City radio is on. But the answer to that is because our first episode of Storytime is going to be about Fallout 4. Um, it's basically my first story. Let's get started in this. Okay, so my first story. Um, so if you don't know the whole entire backstory of Fallout, I'm going to go ahead and tell you to it real quickly here. Basically, you are part of a family of... You, it's basically yourself, um, you had a baby son, and you had your wife. But basically, this was, this was in the future. But the style of the game is sort of like during like the 1970s. But it's in the future. But basically, this was a time when nuclear warfare was becoming, was becoming a thing. So basically, your whole entire country got bombed, which was America. The communists bomb you. But before you get bombed, you go to... You and your family go to a vault. And in the vault, the people inside the vault, they took you to a decontamination room where... where they put you in cells. Like, pods that, like... They decontaminated you and took up and took away all of the the ratification from you. Basically, there is a malfunction with the machines, and basically you were trapped in there. Then you got frozen up. Then you were asleep for like 100 years. And then you wake up 100 years later, and and your wife and your baby are. They're both on a separate pod. So you wake up and and you see them in their pod. But basically the bad guys of the game, they're called raiders. Raiders attack the base. They attack the vault. You couldn't do anything about it because you were trapped. But basically they opened your wife and your baby's pod, killed your wife, and kidnapped your baby. Because basically... So basically you woke up another 100 years later so you were trapped in there for 200 years and then you exit the vault and you find yourself and you find yourself abandoned in the wasteland which is the land of Fallout 4 where everything is ruined and everything it's called the wasteland but basically um you had Eventually, you met up with another, like, group of people, and you joined them. And there's different settlements throughout the world of Fallout 4. But you joined one that were called the Minutemen. And basically, the leader... Basically, the leader of the Minutemen were... The, the leader of the Minutemen, his name was... What was his name? It was Preston Garvey. That was his name. It was Preston Garvey. So basically, you joined that group. That's the backstory of Fallout 4. So anyways, I told you the backstory of it. So now you'll understand my story a bit better. That's the reason why I told you the backstory of Fallout 4. So that you would understand my story. So basically, after upgrading my base, like a lot, um... Me and Preston Garvey, we were on a mission. Preston Garvey had wanted me to go to another settlement and help them out. Since, after all, we were the Minutemen. We were, like, the heroes of the wasteland. So we were on our way there. We were on our way to their, to their settlement. But while we were on our way there, we had a... It came across a raider's base. Usually from the previous times that I fought raiders, the raiders were really easy to kill. So basically, we thought we could have taken them out pretty easily. 
Okay, so we started attacking them. I threw some grenades at them and all that. Um, some fragmentation grenades. But I don't know why, but their health was really, really OP. Like, it took me three shots from a shotgun just to take one down. And that really sucks because my shotgun only holds two shells at a time. So, reloading comes into process too. So, it takes a long time just to kill one person. And they had a pretty good base too. So, that's what pretty much what happened so I was losing health fast so was Preston Garvey so I decided that we had to fall back but Preston Garvey I don't know why he didn't follow me he had decided to stay behind and and I didn't realize it until I got to a spot that was safe and I turned around to find him and he wasn't there until I realized that he was still still behind fighting me because I heard all the gunshots and everything. And basically, he had sacrificed his, li his life so, so that I could live. Um, I thought that he might have been able to survive, but I didn't know. So I waited there for a few minutes, and eventually the gunshot stopped. So, so I thought that he had done it. I thought that he survived and he was on his way back. So I waited another few minutes and he never came. So I got out of my flare gun and I had I looked up and shot my flare gun up in the air. And I waited a few seconds and then the top left hand corner of the screen it said no minute no minute men are able to respond. Which basically meant he was dead. Which I thought was really sad. So I was almost in tears almost because I found it so sad. He had pretty much died. Um, so, so I logged off. I went out to go ride my scooter outside for a little bit. Um, and, then, and then the next day I came back on. I logged on. I was still in the same place. And I look at the hill, and Preston Garvey was running towards me. I was so happy, and um, and um, he finally came to me and he said, "Hey, I was so happy, so 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 happy." I was like, "Oh my gosh, you survived! That's crazy!" But I was. So so, so happy. So basically, went on with our mission. Um, we had eventually helped out those people, um, that other settlement, by taking out another base of raiders for them. That separate base of raiders, they were fairly easy to kill, honestly. But, that's pretty much my story. But I don't know why the base where Preston Garvey and this died. I don't know why the Raiders' health fair were so, so OP. It was like crazy. I don't know why it was like that. But anyways, guys, that's my story. Um, so, th that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Um, and if you're new around here to my channel, please subscribe. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see all you guys in the next video. Peace out.